hard. <laughs> I still, oh my God, like, I don't know why I'm like that. Like, I cleaned, I mopped, I broomed, I vacuumed, I did laundry, I did dishes, I even cooked. But for some reason, I can never take off that decor. I'm just so emotionally attached that I just cannot remove it. Like, it's just so sentimental to me. I'm just honestly lazy, but... Yeah, so I'm gonna have to do that pretty soon. And today, uh, today, um, I'm going to be doing some plenty chores. <laughs> you guys, I'm like, honestly, I don't know what's going on with me. Like, there's always something going on. <laughs> and I was looking at my old videos and then conceited, right? <laughs> Narcissist, right? No, I was seeing like my old plans. Cause I'm like, wow, I had a lot of, I think if I never got rid of any plans, which is impossible cause we all get rid of some plants, right? But if I never did, I probably would have had like a thousand plants. The amount of plants I have gone through is absolutely insane and kind of impressive how I'm so able to buy more. Live, no. You know how they say live, love, laugh? For me, it's plant, plant, plant. Like, that's literally my life. Today, we're going to be doing some clinic chores. There's a lot that I want to do. Oh! My cat scared me, but he's Valentino. Hey, baby, you want to say hi, sugar pie? And I got some water because I'm kind of lightheaded a little bit. Also, I was like watching so many plant TikToks because like, I guess not having any plants or not what I'm used to. Like every plant in my collection is basically taken care of right now. I don't know what to do. And honestly, this is new, girl. This is probably overwatered. I've been, I've been <laughs> overwatering my plants a little bit. No, it's nicely moist. But Monster de Perus are not about that kind of life. They like to dry out a little bit from what I know. So... Yeah, I wanna like see how I can, and I just vacuumed. Well, I didn't vacuum with the machine. That's perfect. I have this box for my air purifiers because like, I'm just so fancy. It was a phase. And I mean, I'm still using it, but it's on low, but it's on low right now. And it's honestly perfect because I broke my tripod. I honestly feel like I sit on it and I probably broke it. So I'm using the box for right now to do that. But this is the Monster Peru, such an amazing plant. I love the texture. And the, honestly, like, like I was telling y'all, I was watching some old videos and I noticed a while back, am I a narcissist? I think I'm not. I think everybody's a narcissist, but some are more than others. Hmm, okay, at least I'm aware. No, um, why am I mad? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, am I also like bipolar? What is going on? I've been in my apartment, you guys, for like, I think a month already. Like, I only go out when I have, I do Walmart delivery. My boyfriend brings in food every night. Like, I don't really get, he gets the mail when he comes back from work. Anyways, so yeah, this is such a pretty plant. You guys, if you do not have a Monster de Peru, you are missing out. No, honestly, it's a really easy plant to look after. No, I'm gonna set you up. Honestly, it's not, it depends. Like, for my conditions, it's pretty chill. Anyways, as I was looking back in the videos, I'm using this leaf shiner and fertilizer. It's from Planted CCTX for my homegirl, I don't, I said homegirl. I don't know if she still watches my videos because like I'm just a mess and I wouldn't even watch my own stuff. But it's from Plants CCTX, CCTX, yes. You can see it on, on Instagram, Google it and you're gonna, you're gonna see it. It's a location in Corpus Christi. Love her. She is the most sweetest person ever. I feel like I can vibe with her. Like I always tell her. One, she is so, and I'm gay. She is so gorgeous. You can be gay and admire beauty on a female, but she's really, really pretty. Like really be like beautiful and her aura. Like, I, I looks like something, right? But for me, like, somebody says aura, like, if your aura is good, it makes you, like, 10 times more attractive, you know? Like, so it was just, you know? And <laughs> she, I don't know. I don't know if it's had an expiration date. I've had it since, like, I don't know. Um, one thing that she did tell me, you can also, so you get this nice, fancy glass bottle. I have two of them. I know I have another one. I need to look for it. I probably have it hidden in the closet somewhere, but um you can get refills and it's cheaper instead of buying the thing she gifted it to me. 
No, I bought them. But she was insisting for me to like, I think she did give it to me. I don't know. Miss girl, like she be wanting to give me plants every time I go and, and it makes me shy and nervous to go and visit her because I just don't want to like get a free plant from her. Like, I don't want to make it seem like that, but I know like, you know, you know? So yeah, I think I did got it for free, but I did bought some plants because I was like, girl, like I want to support your beautiful shop. Not that you need it. It looks like you're doing good, girl. Oh my God, it's already getting so pretty. It's getting so pretty, like, and honestly, like, this is what I miss a little bit. Now, I I'm scared, y'all, because, again, I'm very, like, aware. Like, I know that I'm going to hit a point. So I'm going to be like, <laughs> F you. Like, I don't want to touch you. Don't look at me. Like, I know it's going to get to me uh, right now for some dumb reason. I'm in really, like, Lulu La La Land. Like, I'm just so addicted and obsessed with my plants. And I wish it can be like this forever. But I know, I know I'm going to, like, lose out of love. I don't know. Maybe, maybe getting rid of a lot of plants was an awakening. Maybe that's what it was, honestly. Actually, I wanna like keep wiping it. I wanna show you. So like, look at that. You can get, oh my God. And it looks glossy, but promise, I promise you, it's gonna stay like that for like days, weeks, maybe even months. Obsessed with this stuff. And it supposedly, if fertilizer plants miss come girl, then I put the ingredients in here. <laughs> I love that. And I told her too, I was like, girl, get that bad, like period. Um, your stuff, I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is, but leaf shiners are a little bit also really really debatable right and i have used micro gross fertilizer um and y'all like it actually it makes the leaves look shiny it look it, it, to the point that look fake and it did make my plants die a little bit um leaf shiners can suffocate the 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 why am i glitching the why am I stuttering I, I i stutter but i say glitching because i think it's funny Ooh. I hope I wasn't making fun of somebody. Y'all, I, I I gotta be careful because I don't want to offend anybody. It, it it killed my plants. Like, it made the plants yellow. The leaves were, like, basically suffocating. But for some magical reason, I don't know if it's called de brujería. I don't know, girl. But my plants were not, they were not even turning yellow. And I was, like, trust. And it was literally staying shiny. I am telling you, for weeks and months. This is not sponsored. She did not pay me to say this. Like, I'm just telling you. Like, and I told this girl girl sell this on etsy like i will promote it like crazy because it's doing so good for my plants and i want people to have this on their plant collection if they want it and if they want to it's an option but i highly recommend if you want to have your plants super duper shiny like buy this um from what i'm not showing this locally but i told like make a website girl make an etsy girl like let me promote it like this is amazing like it's amazing and i, I love when plants look when they have water droplets or when they're shiny um they just look so attractive to me and it makes them more like enjoyable like uh, why is it saying that somebody there's a oh okay um sorry the camera said like there was a package on side but i was like is it looking at my butt just kidding yeah it's great i i love it and i feel kind of i feel special i don't know because like not everybody has this and there's really you can make there's a lot of leaf shine recipes so people use milk mayonnaise miss girl is that what you use on your bottles obsessed you guys obsessed with this and summer it's kind of that's a lie spring is coming and we are gonna go pretty soon. I, my boyfriend likes to go fishing and I like just to go for like the vibes and I'm gonna hit up this gummy, but like I need my briefos and my two bottles and I'm gonna buy two of my bottles um, because like I need a stash for the whole year. Like this lasts for, y'all saw me one time. I was shining everything and this makes me wanna shine even more. My hands are not even that oily. Like, girl, guess esto. Like, it's probably mayonnaise or leche, but it don't smell. And it's been sitting in, maybe I'm most blind, I don't know. But it really don't smell. And um, I don't know what this is. Like, I don't know. It's, it's some witchcraft or something. But y'all are going to see the end result. And this is what made me, like, <laughs> I saw the video on, on my old videos. When I had my old plant, my old Monster Peru that was kind of big. And I shined it. It looked so beautiful. I was like, I kind of miss plants. Like, I, I miss it. <laughs> and that's when the whole rabbit hole happened because of this. Like, and I, I'm gonna show you right now, like, you're gonna see, like, I would spray more, but I don't wanna overdo it. And this leaf actually needs to shine. Um, they always say to clean the leaves of the plants. I can also do this, but I don't know if I like that. But I'm gonna try it because, yeah. They say it's good to clean the leaves because, like, you can see pests and stuff like that. I don't, I just feel like you're smearing it, but. What this does help, it makes me, not just for pests, majority, I'm just looking at the entire plant, how the entire plant is doing. Yeah, just how it's doing, and it's, this one's doing, I mean, I just bought it, dang. 
Uh, it's doing really good. So obsessed. And supposedly it fertilizes because I do know some plants, I think majority of them, but some more than others, like hoyas and orchids, that's where they sell the spray bottles. They take in fertilizer or nutrients from their foliage. So that's so cool. Okay, I'm done. I don't want to like tilt it too much. I'm going to spill soil, but. If you're in Corp if you're in Texas and you are kind of on the edge and going to Corpus, or you plan to go to Corpus, go check her out and tell her I said hi. <laughs> but go check her out. Literally not sponsored, girl. Oh my God. Like this is wild, wild. Why am I getting aggressive? Ah, this is what I live for, girl. This is what I love. I love these on shiny leaves. What else can I shine? <gasps> I'm like in the, in the phase right now. Booga, booga. Sorry, why am I acting down? Don't do that, David. Don't do that. <sighs> I think I'm gonna do this one. I love how this one's still in its nursery pot. <laughs> That's so me. Um, Fourteen ninety eight. Beautiful Aglaonema. I think I got it for sale. Cause this is when they had all their plants on sale. Y'all, I can, I would like to go live. No, I would like to go live every now and then. Cause I feel like when I do plant chores, I blabber a lot. It makes the videos long. So I feel like this is more like of a live kind of vibe, but I don't know. Oh, water is so good. Let's shine this stuff. So, moving on forward from the month, I didn't even talk that much about Monster Peru. Um, but yeah, I was looking at my pictures and I was like, oh my god, I was so skinny. Well, videos. I was like, oh my god, I was so skinny. Like, mm mm, what happened, David? Uh -huh, I got in a relationship, that's what happened. Just kidding. No, um, I'm happy, y'all. Everything's great. But I was looking back and I was like, wow, I really had so many plants. Like, gay. Like, you can shoot. You can actually see it, like in the channel, like the, all these videos, and you can see my first old plant shopping video, my first ever shopping video, and I still go there. Why well, I don't know if this is kind of far, but I do go every now and then. The lows, yeah, I've been shopping for that lows for years. Um, by the way, if you see me in public, don't think that I hate you. Like I have a, a resting face when I got it from my grandma. <laughs> I also have anxiety, so I'm gonna give up, like, don't talk to me because I'm very scared. Um, just because I don't know you, and, um, you know, you can, I, I whenever I, I, I film, I feel like people laugh at me. I feel I look dumb that I have my phone out and, like, guys, look at this point, you know? For, I, I see it as, a, like, uh, an outside perspective, and it kind of will be looking weird, and I don't always dress cute. I'll be dressing ghetto. Um, I'm trying to dress. I'm trying to dress, like, you know, not so like like a homeless person, but I don't really care. Like I already have a boyfriend, like, but I guess like <clears throat> there's some stuff I wanna say, but that's crazy. Um not that I was gonna say and I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna get the wrong idea. I was gonna say like you can dress really nice for me. I don't dress really, really bougie and stuff like I know some people do it because for that and they just wanna feel good. That's a whole different thing. Some people and I see like this for myself because I don't really care, but the only reason why I would do it is to impress. But yet again, if I go too much, I'm impressing the wrong people. I'm attracting the wrong people. Like, if you don't love me at my lowest, I don't want you, like, in my best. Right? Now, I'm not shaming anybody that dresses all cute, like, even just by getting the mail. Um, that's my mama. My mama be doing all that kind of stuff. Um, and that's okay. I, I know that some people do it for them, not for anybody else. So some people do it for other people because they like the attention. It's all valid. But for me, I don't really care. I have a boyfriend, and yet again, I don't want to attract people. So that's why I'd be looking like a homeless person. Um, but if you see me in my natural habitat in Lowe's, girl, like, you know me, like, I be filming in Lowe's all the time, like, and I'm gonna say something kind of crazy too. I kind of shiny, but ugly animals are always kind of shiny, so it doesn't really count. This is a very, very, very beautiful plant. The fact that, I don't know, I'll it to them, I mean, I get it. I give it to them for free. That Lowe's has, and <laughs> Lowe's and Home Depot, I think so, um, reached out to a lot of other creators. But then what? When I was like, like I needed money for my bills, um, which is crazy. But 
yeah and i'm just like wow like i'm gonna be here like like doing all this and like not even like not even sending me like a, like a david this kind of like 10 percent or like or like not even like sending me like a plan like a mom you know like something cute no nada um not even a follow but it's okay um i'm not mad no i'm getting a plan behind you sorry if i can get it that'll be cool Here's my summer glory, looking very glorious and wild. I saw one of my old videos too, like last week, cause I, w I miss my old plants, you guys. I was looking and I was like, oh my God, like I kind of miss my, my big hair because it covered my forehead and like, I be looking girl, like I don't have a good side profile. So that's on that. But I'll see like, it's kind of crazy, but I mean, I get it cause I already give it to them for free. And I'm not doing it to get anything like I'm usually doing it because I actually do love to go to Lowe's and ironically I can make videos and it helps keep the light. So that's why I do it. I will go regardless. But it would have been nice, but no. No. Cause I'm already I'm really easy, as you can see. We're gonna spray the thing about this stuff is it's really runny, um, which is great. Um and I think what she does she sprays it in the in the in the rag first and then she does this but I said like a waste of product girl like you have unlimited girl like I won't have unlimited um <laughs> see some plants are just like velvety I can show you this one and then this one like can you see the difference a little bit right but not too much I'm just I'm not gonna do all of it because I'm lazy I like it's more rewarding when the plant well hold on yeah no I mean just as, honestly this goes a long way like a simple it sounds like a, like a sponsor, I swear to God, it's not. Does anybody live in Corpus? Oh, wait, I, I don't know if you guys want to put that out though, like, the comment section. Yeah, I'm in Corpus, but like the north side, I don't know. Um, just out of curiosity, like, you don't gotta tell me, like, your address, but like, does anybody live in Corpus or nearby? Because, like, I'm really, really curious. I'm gonna do the relic this time, because I do have a lot of product. Um, I have two bottles. Well, I have two bottles. Yeah, it's because it's velvety. It's velvety. Y eso, eso no, eso no, no se va a pasar por aquí. Y porque muchas veces, just kidding. Yeah, sometimes I be messing with my cousin and my boyfriend. Like, we be like at the table every night because we like to like chat and talk about our day. And they like it when I be talking in Spanish. Like, I have my little phases when I'm like, oh my God, do I have like a multi-personality disorder? <laughs> no, um, I be like talking like a grandma or like a tía, like, like over the phone, like, you know, like those kind of vibes, like, you know what I'm talking about. Like, don't look at me like, you know, no. Okay, let me get a different plan. Oh, not me arching. Give me a minute. Y'all, look what my dumb idiot did. I got a piece of the wall because I was in my little, like, I don't know, I had so many arrows. Um, I'm just kidding, they're not really arrows, but I just like seeing it, like, it's funny for me. Which is a bad joke. I was gonna like cover the holes in my entire apartment and you can get the exact same paint color that you have. You go to like, you just, you just need like a small piece, it's better, it's the size of a quarter. And you go to Home Depot or Lowe's and um, they can give you like the exact, like they have a, a computer, a machine that scans it and they give you the exact thing. But <clears throat> I was learning that um, supposedly, oh well, actually, that paint changes color over time with temperature, humidity, and time as well wearing there, right? So like, I can give them a piece, but it might not be the same, a little bit. So, what happened is that you gotta go in a spot where it's not so like aggressive. Like you not you don't wanna get a piece in like in the restroom, which is what I did, or like in the, in, like in the most popular areas, like the living room, like anywhere like, it's kind of like dark and like lonely, like maybe the closet, you can get a piece of that in there. So, cause UV rays also change the color, I'm pretty sure. Y'all, I'm like, this haven't even spread and it's still going like a long way. It sounds like a sponsor, but it's not. I'm just so upset. It's like, when I love something, I love something and I don't, I don't shut up about it. Maybe I should though, but I think it's kind of annoying, I know. But I'll see, um, I wanted to do that in my apartment. I want to make it look brand new. Cause I know, I don't know if it sounds racist right now, but I think some of those chinos, the Asians that are really, really known for that. If anybody does it. I'm, but it's not even like a bad thing though. They do spring cleaning. They like go all out. Like they move all the sofa, the fridge, the oven. They deep clean the oven. They deep clean the carpets. They clean the walls. Like anybody does this right now, just the Asians. But I've seen a lot, like, like it's more popular like over there. It's like, I don't know. <clears throat> and um, yeah, so I wanted to do that in my apartment. 
like do all that right and like restore the walls and stuff like that because i don't want to like get in trouble whenever we do move out or not have too much to worry about when we're planning to move out like i already handled some stuff uh i realized that it cost me money which i've been spending money on plants but it's like it's like you know when you need like i don't know because not everything my brother like for me like i'd rather spend my money on food than like buying a new shirt the food is gonna give me pleasure for like 30 minutes or something like that <laughs> and then that's it uh i'll feel good for like a day and then the next day i'll get hungry again compared as a shirt i have it forever so that's like the common seller that i have like plants or restoring the walls plants so yeah yeah this is not boring y'all like i really want to make like fun plant choice videos and i really be wanting to like talk about plants and i know y'all tell me not to change and y'all like it but like don't lie to me don't lie to me like i i need criticism bad like i love criticism like I like if I miss I, if I mistype something or if I say something incorrectly, please correct me. I do not get offended. I might look like I'm offended, but I'm not really like I'm gonna be grateful that you like, you know, that's how someone improves, right? By yourself, but also like getting criticism. Now, I do take a, a lot of I, I, I take any criticism, even the bad ones, but. I'm learning that when criticism, just take it with a grain of salt. It's like, don't ignore it, majority of it, but take it with a grain of salt uh, because sometimes it is true, right? Look at Ethan. Look at that. Why did they kind of way? So on TikTok, I saw... <laughs> I'm on TikTok like all the time, like stop it. Like another one, I know my teeth are white. I'm gonna keep smiling, like even when I'm mad, like, like, <laughs> Y'all, oh my god, <laughs> stop! Okay, I am doing the oil pulling, the coconut oil pulling. I saw it on TikTok that it helps with your gums and your teeth. Now, it's not a replacement for mouthwashing, your hygiene. You still gotta floss, which I kind of dislike. And I've been really, really good at flossing, but I got lazy these past days because I just be tired. But um, you gotta floss, you gotta tongue scrape, you gotta do mouthwash, you gotta brush, and then you gotta do the, if you want to, um, oil pulling. Um, coconut oil pulling this a little Walmart and yeah like guy uh it, it just does so many good things for your teeth and that's what I heard. I heard a lot of it just I heard a lot but it's good for your gums it's good for your teeth it's good for bad breath which honestly is so true like I'd be waking up and like my bad breath is not even there like girl like so I've been putting my boyfriend on that because like <laughs> just kidding I'm kidding but yeah, she's so cute, you guys. Look how shiny she is. Like, doesn't it make you? I keep getting comments. And I just keep reading everything. I'm just so nosy. Um, <laughs> this is so Instagram worthy. Like, don't you think so? Like, yeah. Even though I just bought this one, but yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, these are mine. Mhm. Mm They're shiny and healthy. Yeah, I just like my skincare. Not really. Okay. What else can I shine? Um, I'll be right back and I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find anything. I am back. Yeah, I like to like change my voice every now and then. Like honestly, I change. I don't know. I'll be having I'll be acting dumb, y'all. I'm like a clown. Oh this looks so pretty. Oh thumbnail. Wait, hold up girl. I don't even have a thumbnail and I'm over here doing all this right now. Um by the way, this is my Chinese evergreen so regret and I just noticed too I'm mixing the rag with everything which is not really the best idea because you can spread diseases and, and pests. Um, so, this is the last time I'm gonna do it on this one. I don't really think my plants have it. This one, I've been checking on it. I highly doubt it has anything. I sometimes get scared because I always feel like my thigh cases be having like scale. I have some trauma and PTSD from that, um, from a lot of my, oh, this looks so pretty. Look at that shiny, it look fake. Girl, girl, you, like, it looks fake. Oh my God. Uh, why am I making like a positive thing? <laughs> it just looks so real. Like, you know, like sometimes fake people buy fake ones, right? And you know when it's the good ones or like the cheap ones and the cheap ones be looking really, really fake. But the fake ones that look really realistic are really expensive. So people are gonna walk into my home and see this plant and be like, wow, that's a really fancy fake plant. And they're gonna think I have a lot of money because you know, like I have so many fake plants that look so good, right? 
um, high quality, but little do they know they're actually real plants. Yeah, so we're gonna take a thumbnail. Um, should I be concerned? <laughs> Girl, I can pull this out. I can pull it out and she's hydrated. Should I be concerned? I should probably repot that. I don't know, yeah. I just gotta get a thumbnail, give me a minute. I can only do so much right now. I'm only one person. Okay. Y'all know me, I like to make the thumbnails look super pretty for you. Like, I gotta, like, I can't, I gotta, it's fold I'm gonna open it a little bit. I see, Mira, I, but I gotta show the bottom. Just in case Miss Girl sees the thumbnail on her YouTube, gotta let her know that I'm using it. Um, okay. But it can be, it's not like I'm sprint. can I Girl, I've been doing the most, give me a minute. Like, y'all don't even know how much I put in this thing. I was gonna make it seem like, I work so hard for my thumbnails when I really don't. Um, like that, that's cute, right? And then I finally fixed the section. Okay, so sometimes I like to do it like, but with my eyes like this, like with my eyes open, cause I need options, right? I'm gonna be like, And since it's not like that, so I be like closing, I do like this other pose. And then we're gonna do a shock one because sometimes those do really good on YouTube. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy that. That's like a little um, backstage <laughs> for you. Uh, so let's clean this. This did have Millie bugs, but I checked this entire plant and I'm pretty sure I burned each and every single one of them in the most painful way with rubbing alcohol. So I think it worked. I think it was good. Girl, so this, like, <laughs> this is an actual product that I love. Um, sell this girl and give me like an affiliate link or something like <laughs> Like, I want to promote things that I love, and I really do like this. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Like, y'all don't even, there's some of you guys that are like, he's just lying, this and that. Y'all are going to see when I do houseplant tours or plenty updates, you're going to be seeing my Monstera Peru, beautiful. And even, even, even growing, even growing, because I had a fertilizer, right? Okay, Pookie. And then <laughs> this one also, like, you're going to be like, wow, well, he wasn't lying. Like, I, <laughs> me, lying. The only person I like to is me. I gaslight myself. I manipulate myself, but I don't do that to other people. Like, be for real. Like, that takes so much energy. Like, I'm not doing all that. We're gonna spray this. I, like, literally, like, girl, like, I can barely edit my own videos. Like, I don't have any energy to, like, do all that. I just really don't. I don't. So, it is what it is. It's raw. It's real. Take it or leave it. A lot of y'all leave it. Um, so, we're gonna spray this. And I'm really excited. Like, so this is the before. I don't stop scaring me. You're scaring me. My boyfriend's gonna get out and he just asked me what I wanted. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and I was like, you know what I like, like, you know what I like. But he gets mad when I say talk about our love. Girl. I don't think you understand my love for Taco Bell. It is so bad and I don't eat it every day, okay? <laughs> Be for real. I don't really eat it every day. But if I could, I would. Like y'all, like, Taco Bell is so good. And they be having healthy options too. Like get a vegan bowl. <laughs> Skinny, <laughs> get that protein girl. Like, I love Taco Bell, like, I love Taco Bell so much. I love tacos, but I'm not really big in soft tacos. I kind of don't like soft tacos. I don't like flour tortillas. I know, I don't like pan either, but yet I'm still fat. Um, <laughs> I, you know, that's not really me. Um, what I, what I, I love, hard, I like hard shells. I like, I like crispy tacos. Oh my God. And then I don't like pan, but I'm, I'm kind of picky. Like, I can just take like a, like a pan con cafe. And that's not really me. Um, I kind of just like to enjoy my black coffee like that by itself. But if I had an option, I'll do like a cake, um, you know, like a choco flan, a I can do that, but like not like like a, like a concha or like, I mean, the pigs are kind of cute. Like if you know, you know what I'm talking about, the pigs, like what they saw like in the panaria, those are kind of cute. You know, see a little bit like, this plant's already shiny, like, 
you guys. I don't know. I really like, I'm just wasting product because it'd be looking the same. But yet again, I know this plant is going to appreciate me wiping it down and spreading its pests everywhere else. Just kidding. But I'm going to enjoy it, me wiping it down. And um, I kind of like touching my plant because they do be getting dusty and I got to like get rid of that, right? I can put it in the tub, but um, I don't want to. So we're just going to enjoy it. <sighs> Y'all, I really, I kind of like this kind of video. Well, that's a lie. I kind of like, you know, these plants. I kind of like filming these kind of videos. Like just sitting down and just doing some plants stuff like this is it and i'd be looking at other plants youtubers and i like i'd be comparing myself way too much because like, hold up i'd be like like wow like she edited that video so because usually they're all girls they she edited that video so good like i wish i could do that and i try to but i just can't like i just can't um i i love to watch it and i dream to have it on my channel but realistically, I can't do that. I know that I help my channel so much if I, like, I'm aware. I know if I edit my, my videos a little bit more, they'll be so much better. But no, um, not right now. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Like, 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 and I'm doing, I'm trying to do daily, which requires, like, you know, imagine if, like, oh my God, you guys, I cannot, like, hear myself 24 7. Like, I'm already alone. When I can post, I socialize, it's my boyfriend and my cousin, because he lives with us now. And um, and me, and I'm alone from seven in the morning all the way to like six in the day. So, and then editing and talking, listening to myself, and then editing, listening to myself even more, filming reels, and then like talking on the stories, which I be posting stories and plenty of updates daily on Instagram. So if you're following me on Instagram, you can go ahead and do that because there's a lot of fun content that I be doing. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, it's just, I, I can't, and I can't. And I'm very grateful that my audience, my plant besties, you, bestie, um, yeah, like, yeah, I kind of like this, like, yeah, I'd be like, it's like, it's like chill, um, <laughs> some people, oh my god, stop, some would literally say, yeah, I'd be watching your videos to fall asleep, like, I like listening to it in the background, and I, I was like, when I, I didn't know if I should be offended or honored, um, but I took it as a compliment. Because if I know if I took it in the fence, I would have like really beat myself up for like days. Um, yeah, I'm really grateful. I'm really, really grateful that I can help you sleep at night. Yeah. I kind of like how they look. I mean, this one, you can, this is getting kind of dirty. I'm really surprised. Like, wow, she was really dusty. I did as much as I could. I didn't do all of it. This was the after. And I didn't spread, I just spread on the napkin, like, napkin, on the rack, like, twice. Um, and if I sprayed more, it would have been more glossy, but this is already really, really shiny. Like, this, I don't want to make it so shiny, right? I don't want to blind the neighbors. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, there's another plant I want to shine. But um, I need to get a new rag because that had many bugs. I know that for sure. And I don't want it <laughs> spreading with my other girls. Because um, we're gonna fight. So I'm gonna get a new rug. Wow. Ew! This is the pink. If you're curious, the pink. No, it's just like so old. But if you're curious about the pink color, this is the pink color in our walls. So, just in case if you're asking, link in the description box below. Okay, I'm gonna go get another rag and I'll be back. Girl, what the hell? I press record and then I. Uh, and then I press on record really fast. So, I was gonna get a ficus ruby. No, that's the other one. I was gonna get one of my ficuses. What are you called? I know it has a name tag. But it's in the window, and I don't really know if I should put a plant like that that's really, really glossy in the window. Kind of scared about that. I don't know. I haven't experimented. I don't, I don't know. None of them want to do experiments right now. And then I, I saw this one my Trial Star Stromanti. And this is always in the kitchen, and I always see it, and I think it's gonna be nice and impressive if I can shine it. So this is the before, and I'm gonna give her a glam. Um, I couldn't really, so this, this is actual rags that I use. The gray ones are supposed to be for cleaning. The green are supposed to be for plants. <clears throat> but I couldn't find any rags. I had to like literally like dig in the kitchen to like find a rag, because I was getting desperate, I couldn't find any rags. Because I had my cousin, or not had, he was cleaning, what was it? Because I had a lot of new rugs. Because I was in the laundry. And he was doing something. But I have more rugs. I, I, I have a core rag, so I can use that too. Anyways, 
No, and I, I, he was helping, with, I, which I appreciate. But I hate it when they move things around. Like, like I have a, a, my head like somewhere with the post stuff, and they don't they put it somewhere else. And then when I'm looking for it, I'm like make I'm like flipping tables and like looking for it. Um, I'm grateful when they help out, but. Yeah, I got my water. Oh, so thirsty. I took a bath, showered in a bath. And whenever I take a bath, I like to, <laughs> it's my time to relax. And I go all out. And then I bought some pearls that are like anti-aging. Girl, oh, hello. I'm trying to look cute, you know what I'm saying? And, um, <laughs> When I take a bath, I like like to put the water like 300 Fahrenheit. No, I, I like to max it out the temperature and we get we have really hot water. So like it feels really good. I like to burn off my skin. I like to like I like to think of it like I'm burning off the stress and the wrinkles when in reality I'm just really drying out my skin. So yeah, I took a bath and it was amazing. I love it so much. I always get thirsty when I get out. I really do. And yeah, so I got a shower at the bath and then I was just so tired and I was watching TikToks and then I got on plant TikTok and I started seeing people doing plant chores and now I get what y'all are trying to say. I it motivated me to clean my plants. Like do plant chores. I already watered all of my plants. Um and I don't want to get in my water because okay, we're rough. So the next thing that I noticed, and I did treat it, a lot of my plants for pests this morning. So all I had left was like Maybe I can just shower my plants. And here I am. Here I am. So, yeah, I just, yeah, and I don't know, like, yeah. So, <laughs> girl, what? <laughs> I look at this, she's all this, she's all this, she's all this. So I'm really thirsty. I think you're like in the tub and you get like dehydrated, like you dry your skin, I don't know, or something like that. I know this has spider mites. A little bit, very little bit, but I kill them. But they're still stuck in there, so I'm gonna just wipe those down. Again, I check my plants daily. It's not consistent. I think I like maybe like in a month, I'm not gonna do daily, maybe like once a week. But right now, it's literally controlling everything. Like, honestly. And um, the lighting's coming out, it's so beautiful right now. It's, yeah, I'm taking care of everything and my, my there's no really past and um, it's great, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm really, really happy. It's really rewarding. That's what I need whenever I do my plant stuff. Um, people say like, <laughs> they say like, when you take care, yeah, I be jumping topics like no one's business, like, oh my God. <sighs> but people say that when people have plants, it means that they're really good at taking care of stuff like that. And yeah, I like taking care of things. Yeah. But if my plant's not performing and I'm giving it all this energy, it's going to the trash. Like, you're not, you're not going to waste my time like that. Because um, I have other babies that do appreciate the time that I give them. Oh my god, for a moment, I was going to argue with my plants. Like, like, they were trying to be funny. Like, I was literally going to, like, argue and drag them to dirt. Wow. Like, it's kind of entertaining, I think so. Like, I think you're, like, entertained. I don't know. Um, but it's kind of concerning. <laughs> I'm gonna see my family in the weekend, so I'm really excited to do <laughs> some human interaction. We're planning to go to the flea market, which is gonna be great for me, for my mental health, to see human beings, because I... Uh, I'm really excited, so... Um, yeah, but yeah, people say that, I'm just like, girl, no, girl, like, no, girl, like, my plan's not performing the way it's supposed to perform when I'm doing all this care and stuff like that, it's going to the trash. You're gonna get replaced. There's only tough plants in my collection, like, which is why they're so common. We know why plants are common because like, they're just easy. They're easy to grow and maintain and stuff like that. So yeah, that's what you see in my entire collection, common plants, because like, I just want the jungle vibes in my apartment. That's what I want, but I don't want too much care. I do enjoy it every now and then, which is why I started jumping to more like difficult plants. And then, wow, this is really dirty. But I realized that, um, <laughs> what if I get burned out and depressed? Those plants are gonna die, and that's exactly what happened. And then I was so mad at myself that I just decided, okay, we're just gonna go and get rid of everything else, so. 
Yeah, I think one of the one of the homegirls. <laughs> I really don't know what homegirl means. I think it's like bestie. So that's why I'm saying that. But one of the OG people that be commenting, Miss Katie, I think so. Girl, you know who you are. I haven't seen her comment, but I used to remember I will always see her comments like a lot. And I've been seeing a lot of the comments too, but this just happened recently, so that's why I don't know. I hope I remember so I can miss every, every comment. There's a lot of comment people that I do appreciate here. So quitting my channel, my craziness and stuff like that. And she was like, dude, what happened to your plants? And I put emojis, like, basically saying, like, girl, I ran away from them. She was like, no, for girl, what happened? And I was like, I put more emojis, but I put a demon in there. And she get it. And yeah, that's what happened. Like, I just couldn't. I just couldn't. The pest and the, the oh my God, the holidays, which were beautiful. They were a blessing. I had so much fun with the family. But I was having so much fun that I forgot my plants at home, girl. And... And I was so burned out. Like, you know how it is with, with gatherings, like so burned out. That's the people after COVID, they got rid of a lot of plants and they went back to their original stuff because like people were into plants because they were stuck at home, you know? And I'm stuck at home because I choose to. I kind of like it. And I'm back with plants because like, you know, that's like college, girl. Like I don't gotta explain anything, but oh my God, she looks so good. Like honestly, girl, you're gonna gag. You're gonna gag. I know that a lot of my audience, they're like in the like in the 30s and 40s and 50s, cause like, girl, you took notes, girl, unless you lied in your account or whatever. It doesn't say specifically, it just says like abroad of your entire audience. And it shows up, that's like my audience, like 30s, usually 40s and 50s and 60s. And I sometimes like to like mess with y'all. <laughs> I know that some of you guys do get it, but like, I like to like say like millen millennial, gene X, I don't know, see? Like stuff like that, like gag and like you ate that, you left no crowns, like um, go off sis and stuff like that. I like to say that because I feel like it, it, it confuses them. But I just hope that y'all like learn some of these slangs and whenever you see your, your kids, you say it to them, you know? Like that'll be so fun. Like I kind of like that a lot. But um, yeah. Oh, so this is how it looks. That's right. That's right. And when people are walking over, in the kitchen and he'd be like wow david is that fake and i'd be like no the only fake thing here is me nah i'm kidding uh yeah it's just so shy and then with the light it's too far you guys cannot see that but that foil sound really pisses me off it works because my thumb doesn't scratch it no more that's why i have it there i don't really care if it looks ghetto it works but i would rather eat glass like I'm if i had to pick Listen to foil. Oh, just by thinking about it, it's like giving me goosebumps of my Foil scraping with a fork or like a can, I'm getting chills. Or a can with a knife on the edges. I'd rather eat glass than listen to that for an hour. I can't. Wow, I'm really dramatic. She's so pretty, guys. We're doing a lot, honestly. Like this video's gonna call like leaf shine. I don't know. And there's some more plants that I wanna shine, but I think I'm gonna do it off camera. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's a watch time. It's watch time. I have one more, and actually, no, I'm lying because like I don't have. I don't want to use the same brag when I know this Stramanti was honestly having spider mites a little bit. Wow, she look good. Don't lie to me, don't, cause I know. <laughs> oh my God, she ate that. Yeah. Um, I don't have any more rags. I'm gonna fight my cousin and tell him where he left my rags, cause I need my rags. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Not really. Um, and so I can clean more leaves because this is so satisfying and now I want to be around them like Like be for real. So I think I'll see you guys tomorrow. The video's gonna be like in a second and I there's always, there's always plant chores which is amazing as a creator because there's so much to do in film. I just hope you guys don't get bored because I will get really sad because um, I don't know what else to give. I'm just kidding. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Alrighty, so it is the next day. I feel really productive, you guys. Like, I did a lot of plant chores and house chores this entire morning. I didn't film a lot because I would have, but I don't have my tripod yet. I'm really gonna get a tripod. Like, I'm not gonna buy any plant until I get a tripod because, like, there's so many videos, like, a lot of plant chore videos, like, I wanna go ahead and film that require me to have, like, my phone standing or something like that because, girl, I can make a living take. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, I did a lot of plant chores. I feel really good. It's, it's not even like I feel obligated to do it. It just feels really good. I guess it does help a lot. And I don't know, cause I'm not, there's nothing different 
in my financial life for like just problems that I had. I, they're still there, majority of them. But I'm just trying to have like a positive mindset, like fake it till you make it kind of like mindset. And that's taking me kind of far. Like also, I'm also like just being grateful with what I have. Cause like I used to stress out over a lot of things, small things, and then you really like forget to like, well, me specifically. I really forget to appreciate the things that I, I already do have and what's already going on. And like, not taking advantage, but like taking it for granted my health, the fact that I'm not sick, the fact that I don't have a sore throat, the fact that I don't have like really bad headaches or like I have my legs that I can walk around, like I can do things, right? So I just felt really, really blessed <laughs> and grateful, having a positive mindset and taking it till I make it and it's working so good that's why I be telling you like I don't know how long it's gonna last this kind of mindset I hope it's forever but being realistic I'm only human right like at some point I will like you know go back but as long as I keep on trying to like have this kind of like positive mindset I should be good I think so I really really like it and I'm also taking care of my plants it just feels really good taking care of them which is weird because like that wasn't a thing back then also i have my dryer going so yeah that's what you guys well mine i'm doing laundry on and it's on the dryer so that's what you guys are hearing like <coughs> crazy sounds in the background but i just feel so good and the leaf shiny just like another bonus like i really appreciate seeing my plants really really shiny and you can also see everything flow so i'm telling you like i don't know I know this is nothing brand new to a lot of people like a lot of you guys do this on a daily basis or whenever y'all do like y'all clean y'all's leaves every now and then and y'all see like how beautiful the foliage is i haven't done that i've been so focused on a lot of other things and not on my plants only doing like the minimum like what i have to do to keep majority of them alive but now i'm like going the extra mile like in the melee bugs the melee bug was a huge problem for me just pests in general like they can really take a hit it, it, it really like messed me up mentally and it made it worse it just felt like oh my god and i'm kind of like destroying them because if you think about it like we're giants to them and the fact that they can take over the collection the only advantage they have is when we have like mental problems like that's the only like advantage otherwise we can literally like destroy them and um yeah i just been on top of it every single morning like i love doing it and I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know if it's something bad or it's a warning, but I feel okay, like, I'm just saying, like, I kind of like the smell of rubbing alcohol. It smells like <laughs> clean, like a hospital. I don't know, don't get at me, girl. Maybe you guys like what it's doing to my plants. Like, I know when I was little, I used to love the smell of gas. My dad would put gas in the car and I would like low key, like open the window and be like, smelling it, but like, <laughs> So yeah, I kind of like the smell of rubbing alcohol. It's a lot better than neem oil. I got used to the smell of neem oil. You know, neem oil is great as a preventative and I will use it, but as of now, I'm using the leaf shiner because Lord have mercy, they make them look so pretty. And fertilizing, that's what it, that it fertilizes. I don't really know. I'm gonna leaf shine my orchid, maybe off camera, because this is the only thing I was, I'm able to like show you because I have you against the window. Um, that's why I'm recording this and also because I need more footage for this plant chores thingy and I guess I'm gonna title it shining my leaves with some elixir I need a little bit of clickbait y'all my bills are coming up um, it just feels good I'm just really happy and I hate it because like I used to be like this way back then like oh my god I remember how I told I think I told you yesterday well a couple of seconds ago for you like minutes but I was watching my old videos like my old old videos and I was like I was kind of like wow I was so young and so happy and I'm like, wow, like that version, that younger version will be so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry, will be so proud how far this version has gone. And I'm over here so miserable, like at myself and mad at myself and get after myself. And I'm like, I don't, sometimes we don't give ourselves enough credit how far we have gone. And that's what's keeping me like a positive mindset. It's like, no, like I'm beyond blessed and grateful that my boyfriend and I got this far and like, we're doing so good. I'm just happy <laughs> and I was like wow like that David had like no like he had problems but it didn't really beat him down and he was just so happy and smiley and jumpy and I was like I want to be like that and I'm like bitch that is me 
<laughs> and I was like, I, I can literally like just be happy. Like, what, what was I back then? I just started thinking, like, and that's when I took a bath, and that's when I was like just getting more deeper in my thoughts, like in a good way. Um, but yeah, I just. I feel good, girl. I just, I feel good. And I, I hope, cause I know a lot of people go to YouTube for a lot of reasons. Usually, majority of the people go to YouTube for like motivation or to learn something or to distract themselves. Um, good or bad things in their life, right? It is good to unplug every now and then to like, you know, just relax. Your brain needs a break. People go to YouTube for that kind of stuff. And, and my channel girl, it be so negative, like, <laughs> like I be so angry, like so sassy and so like nasty. Like, like I be editing and I be fighting myself. I'm like, why would you stay? Like, you're so dumb. Like, are you for real? Like, but I still post the video because um, I got bills. I'm just kidding. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm trying like to make my, my not really trying like, because I have tried but it just doesn't come out that way. Like y'all are not dumb. Like you guys can see, y'all can see fake when fake is there. And I'm telling you, I'm faking it until I make it act. I'm trying to stay positive. So like sometimes I'm having a bad day, but I'm still gonna stay positive as much as I can. Cause there's already enough negativity out there in the world. Why add more to it? You know? So, but it's good like to cry. It's good to express yourself. It's good to have those emotions every now and then. But at some point you need to like get back up in your feet. So. That's how it is, girl, that's how it is. <sighs> but I just be loving life right now. I'm gonna get my Lulu La, La, La Lens with my plants and it feels really, really good. Um, feels even better that I'm not really seeing this many bugs cause the second I see it, I get my pink spray bottle and I spray them some acid. Like, that's how it is now. Like, I'm not even playing no more. Like, stop playing with my collection, girl. Stop playing with my collection. Like, go buy your own plants and go suck the, the sap. Like, see, let me show you guys. I already finished shining the plants. This makes my hands kind of soft. Girl, I keep talking so good about this stuff. It's weird. It's weird. I don't know what she does in it. Like, I, I made a story and I took it on Instagram, but Hunger has some. I know she's a busy girl. Like, she is busy. She owns a business. Like, she's busy, busy. Look at that. Oh my God. Like, even it doesn't even need light. Like, it looks even better without, when it's not getting no direct. Because y'all know me, I like my friends with like direct sunlight. And, oh. Like, doesn't that want to make you like take care of them? Like, look at them and oh, it be looking fake. I love it. <laughs> it doesn't even look fake. It just looks so like. When I say fake, I mean like brand new. Like you know, like fake. Like like it just came out of the straight out of the factory. And those leaves look so shiny. There's no dust on them. The fake plants, but it's the real plants, and it's just so impressive. My mom texted me last night saying that I guess I can shine this plant. This is my Monstera Deliciosa. I have it rooting in water and it's just gonna stay in water because I know some of y'all, oh, they don't flag me saying, I'm not gonna risk it. I know some of you guys like root. Uh, it's a thing, it's the same. It's just say, it's the same. And oh, you guys cannot really see this. I'm gonna do my best, you guys. Actually, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna throw this away because it's kind of bothering me. This is from the fiddle. This is all I got from the bottom. It's always good to like pick up the debris. I go plants because pests are like, oh my God, like this is like an apartment that's empty. Like, let's go move in. That's what they see us. So it's always good to like evict them. So, <laughs> well, they're not even, that's a bad joke because they're not even there. I'm gonna go throw this away and I'll see you guys in a bit. Getting shake is really good. It sounds like there's somebody in that dryer. It sounds so loud. Mm -hmm. Y'all see, is that better for you? I think so. I just thought the audio is not so bad. Let me just turn off my air purifier. Leave voids. I'm like, I'm gonna close up. I just can't. The reason why I have it open is because um, there's no window, there's nothing in there, and it's like a closet in the in the laundry section. And a lot of the new homes and like the new builds have like a, a like a fan to like suck out the air. We, I've been seeing them and even on the new apartments, this is a new apartment, but like, I guess they did like the next year, like the new models, I don't know. But if I have the doors closed, there's so much condensation happening. And that's why I open it. Like there's just so much humidity. Is there's not leakage. We actually just finished cleaning the dryer two days ago. We had to open it because I was telling my boyfriend like, we need to clean that. I saw it on TikTok that you're supposed to clean this every year. Um, and because they'd be collecting dust. 
not just the lint catcher, but well, the lint thingy, there's a catcher on it as well. And it's always good to open it up and take off any dust in there. I live in an apartment, but if you have a house, uh, it's always also good to like clean up the tubes. I don't know what they're called, but where the air sucks out, like lint will start stacking up. But even then, in my dryer, it was doing so good back then and now, it's not even, this is the third round, like it's not drying my laundry. I don't know why, that's, I don't know, I'm not gonna stress about it. Positive mindset. <laughs> so, yeah, what's that? Okay, my mom, I think my brother's gonna come over too, but I don't know if I'm gonna because he works all the time, but they're gonna come over on Sunday because she was texting me last night saying that she misses my little leches cake and I was like, oh girl, I can't wait like, let's just like let's get together and we can i can make you a cake together like let's just let's just have some fun and yeah I don't, like i said we haven't really talked about it i need to talk to like a caller like in a bit if it's gonna be here or over there but if they come here i would be so happy because like they can see my plants super shiny and yeah i want them to see my shiny plants um this monster is like she's seen some things uh, she was doing so good i don't know if you guys remember like i remember back then oh she's getting a little bit burnt I'm guessing that's old because it is a really old, I don't even know. I just placed it on the window. I should hard enough, I should get used to it. Because like I had it in the back in the kitchen and it was there was a girl and I thought that was enough, but I guess not. She put out a new leaf and it became yellow and it went downhill bad. So I decided that um, I'll put it by the window because we're getting direct sunlight right now. After that, the sun will go in its other way, which is like all the way higher. And, we don't get much sunlight like that, but anyways, I decided to place it right there because I just wanted to get better. So I hope it will get better because like I love mosteras and I remember back then I had a mostera in water for like a year and the roots got so crazy and a lot of people were going like crazy about it. They were like, wow, because for some reason us humans or plant people, majority of people have a fascination of roots. <laughs> Y'all love to look at them roots. And um, I'm gonna spray over here because you can barely see the bottom part. This is a very nice spray bottle. I would love one. No, that's too crazy. But I was gonna say I would love one for like the rubbing alcohol, but I feel like that's just too much. Like this, the spray bottle that I have, I got the most cheapest spray bottle I can find at Walmart. It, it was like 98 cents. It works. It sprays a small amount, and that's good because too much rubbing alcohol, it is diluted already, it's 50%. But too much of it can actually damage the plants and we do not want that, right? We don't want to like, yeah, a little, a little bit of rubbing alcohol is good enough. And yeah, I'm running out of things to say. I think after this, I'm gonna go ahead. My boyfriend's probably gonna get on break. So usually I like to eat whenever he's on break, but I already ate, I got hungry. So I'm gonna make some tacos. I guess I gotta finish the wall. You guys can kind of see how I already took down the, the birthday stuff. On Instagram, I said Christmas stuff. I don't even know why. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, put the pictures. So that's good. My boyfriend comes from work like at seven. I kind of want to go to Dollar Tree. I was gonna, I keep forgetting stuff, but I, I was gonna get some stuff from Dollar Tree. But it's something I'll be I don't know. I think it's gonna be picture frames. Was that what it's gonna be? But no, I have enough picture frames. I noticed that when you shake it and then you spray it, like, yeah, it does a lot. Like, y'all see that? And it spreads out evenly, like, it doesn't, like, get chunky, so I just learned that. Not because I saw her Instagram, and this is what she uses in her plant shop, um, Planted CCTX. You can check it out on Instagram or Google it. Or if you're in Corpus, you can put Google Maps, you can go and check out her storefront. She has so many amazing plants, and... Miss girl, she shines every single plant. Like she tells me, like when they get new shipments, they usually quarantine them. Like if they look kind of bad, because it's you know sometimes that happens, or oh, she feels like it, she'll do that. Like if she like plants, there's a chance they probably have anything, and that she she goes the extra mile, like extra extra mile, and then she shines each leaf on all the plants she gets. She has, uh, I think, an employee. I'm not sure if she had more employees, but there was a, a guy employee that she has as well. And, yeah, it's just so like amazing. And when you walk into her shop and everything looks so shiny, like it makes you want to buy everything. So I love that for her. And Corpus is such a vibe. Like I had a, a moment when I wanted to move with my boyfriend, like him and I wanted to move to Corpus because he likes fishing. And I just love the tropical weather. But um, he got to Amazon and um, yeah, we just 
decided we're fine over here. And then we were talking, because we were like really, really serious. Like we talked to my mom about it and my, my family and it's not that far, but they didn't, my mom especially didn't like the idea of that because like she likes to like visit whenever she can, like as much as she can and just see each other. Um, so if we moved to Corpus, it would be like a two hour drive to get there, which is we're like, it feels like three or four hours, but it's, on Google it says like a two hour drive. So I'm gonna experiment with this actually. So I'm gonna play some, and I do have some plans actually with this on direct sunlight. I feel like this should not be a problem, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on and let it be on direct sunlight and see what happens. As you can see, there is a little bit of yellowing. That's because it was in low light condition. And there's a few burnt, which one is it? There's a burnt part, but that's because I, I just place it on direct sunlight. And I have windows and they do have like the UV protection kind of stuff, but I guess it was still something because it, it was very fresh. It was not used to the direct sunlight. They need to build like, their sunscreen. That's why I like to call it. So they can get used to direct sunlight. But look at those roots. This is some good water. People would throw it out, but I like to leave it. And there's so many new videos, which I'm so happy because I never change the water on my propagation because I'm lazy. It turns out that when you change the water every time, because people would tell you to do that, your the plants release hormones in the water so it can produce more roots, right? When you throw out that water, you put fresh water, yeah, it's pretty and it's fresh, but the plant has to keep working hard to make the water more like, to have more hormones that it needs for like the root hormones and it's just making it harder for the plant. So it's good just to leave it there. I rinse this like every like month, every two months. Um, the last time I did it was like two months ago, I think so. And I just refill it with water whenever it dries out. So and as you can see, it's doing amazing. There is no root rot because these are water roots. So this is how it works for me. And I'm obsessed with it. And I was gonna say like, you can actually place like a cutting in here. And I feel like the water is so good that it was just like sprout. So like people will, will place go and put those cuttings and um, with other cuttings in water because it will help the, the other cutting root because the golden potos has some really good rooting power hormone in the water. So that's what they would do it. But yeah, that's on this beautiful Monstera. I was not planning on doing it. Like I thought about it and I was like, nah, I won't do it. But I'm happy that I did because like, try to look back and step back. She looks pretty. I guess I'll show you guys the plants and what I've done. So let me just go ahead and show you. So I was cleaning here cause it was kind of dirty and like dusty. I did wipe just like over here a little bit with some pine saw and, and the uh, napkin. I was gonna clean the entire section, but it looks, I got a little bit lazy. I did place some new plants in here. So I placed this one and this one. These were in here, but I just didn't like the way it looked. I feel like it looks a lot more better over there and over here as well. And the way I decorate plants, I didn't even know that was a minute thing, but I know people like, like to watch videos like that. I like to add like height and I like to like add colors, textures, and sometimes there will be some tall plants that will leave like an empty gap and I would love, I just look what like what a vibe is. And this one is what I had available and I placed it here because I like how it looks kind of shallow. There's still like little you know, breathing room, I guess you can say, but then it has some pretty foliage going down and it can go even more down and it will just give it more like of a enjoyable view. So again, I decorate my plants the way I can by lighting. That's my priority. I was surprised. There's a lot of people that look like to look at videos like that, how to decorate with plants and not maybe how to, but they like to see other perspectives on how people decorate their plants. But for me, my biggest thing is lighting. And I like to place plants everywhere as y'all can see. So I always try to add grow lights. There's so many grow lights in the market, you guys. There's a lot, especially on Amazon. And um, see, since there's a, there's a grow light over here, I can add plants and um, it's not a, it's a salted grow light. So it is pretty good, but it's not as strong as Miss Girl over here. So this one is perfect for this Chinese evergreen. And I, I also, you know, what I have. So I have this massive Chinese evergreen silver bed and I like how like it's a bush, it's pretty. The lighting looks super duper cute. I add mirrors so it makes the living room look a little bit bigger to reflect more light and it'll reflect the light from the grow lights as well. So, and it makes it like, like the plant looks twice as big when it really isn't. So that's a really, really fun thing to do with mirrors and plants. I was gonna flip the camera, but I was like too scared because like, I look good over here, but if I flip the camera and you see my face like super close like that, um, you're gonna get scared. So <laughs> I'm gonna continue, but I, 
Oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. My hands are so soft because of that fertilizer thing, yellow, the leaf shine. But this is super duper fun. I was gonna say, mirrors are really, really fun. I have mirrors here, 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 like everywhere. Like wherever I can place mirrors, because it gives an illusion of like a bigger space. Like I even have these IKEA mirrors, which you're gonna see the Christmas thing because like I have not, I don't know. Let me show you. Because I, I took it off and I took off these mirrors. It's adhesive from oh my, these are IKEA mirrors. And it's so good, it rip off the paint, so I need to always add something here. I don't have anything that's Valentine's or like cute decor to add in here, so I'm just gonna leave this here. It's better than to look at those holes. Maybe in the future, I'll go to Ikea and buy another, so I gotta clean these mirrors. I'll go and place another section right there, but it makes my kitchen look a little bit bigger because, you know, I feel like without the mirrors, it would look small. So that helps a little bit, and then this over here too. Um, I do have some fake plants at the very top, because I cook, right? And then we have a fan that goes up. And if I put some light plants, I noticed that I used them, they were okay with it. But what happened is they would get crispy because the, the air was just too hot that it would push out. So I have to be really considerate. And then I have a fake plant over here because it looks super cute right there, so that's what happened. So if you wanna have, I think the biggest key is lighting and also the condition of the plants. As you can see right over here, I have some pretty plants. I go like by decorating it, right? You can kind of see how like the height there is and then the leaves. And then it's also plants that I do love as well. I want plants to thrive because this is a really bougie light for me. Like it has high quality lighting and potential for plants to grow. And I like to place plants in here that I feel like need some, some special care or plants that are new and I want them to get bigger or plants that are really pretty and I want them to get like more vent, like more um, trailing or plant that needs lighting or plant this one just looks so pretty here. I guess I have to leave it there. Like I love with the coffee sign and stuff like that, which I think was from Ikea a long time ago. And then this one is my favorite and I want it to get bigger. So I know it's gonna appreciate right over here. And then at this lower level, you're gonna see plants that are low light. So we have the Raven, the uh, Green ZZ, uh, platinum is peace lily and the chinese evergreen silver bay these are low light plants not quite sure about the raven i feel like that would appreciate more lighting but it would just be really slow because obviously it doesn't have enough green to produce the um you know the, the the food that the plant needs so um yes i like to place my low light plants in here i do have my ac like where the ac sucks in air so i always try to like dust this so it doesn't get dusty and then i i noticed that these plants capture the dust as well so i go ahead and like i've been using the vacuum and it's been working really good like with the brush i think it's still there no oh yeah it is look i use this and it has like these soft brushes thingies and it takes off the dust really, really good and makes it, cause some plants are really difficult to clean from this. Like you can place it in the sink or the tub to rinse them off, but these are kind of big and I didn't want to do that. So I just got the vacuum and I got the brush section and it, um, yeah, it's just like cleaned it up. Oh look, she planted CCTX like the story. Oh, I love my girl. But yes, oh, this one also had blooms, but I always remove the piece of leaf flowers because they're really, really bad for cats. This is so pretty y'all. I. Oh my God, why is this like, eat? like this video is getting good. Like I'm giving you guys some tips and I'm not that smart, but I try to give you guys as many tips as I can. But like, I don't want you to take it with a grain of salt because like if something dies and you took my word, I'm gonna cry because I will feel like crap. And yeah, I'm just telling you how I do things and how I do my own stuff. And you can take in what you want to take in. Um, it sounds like someone's dying in there. Oh my God. But I see, uh, I like to place lighting. Lighting is big for me, okay? You wanna make sure about that. And then you can also, having plants in groups will also build like a micro environment. So it'll make it, it will raise the community a little bit. My apartment's always 50 or 60%. It's 57% humidity. Um, you can kind of see the stuff right there. The batteries keep coming, you can see the tape. So I had to tape it, but it still came out and it reset the entire thing, but it's still linked on my phone. It's probably an app, Go, Goofy. I'll look it down for you if you want to go check it out. I do want to buy more sets because I'm really curious. And then I have one outside because I know I have the weather app and stuff like that, but I like to actually know to place the Christmas lights in the bag and put them in the storage. But I have another one. This is not by an app. I just have it by the bedroom I can see and over here. So it's 52 Fahrenheit and 32% humidity. It's just good to know um whenever it's like super dry outside i'm like okay i can like clean the vacuum filter and place it outside and it'll dry faster when it's like 80 percent humidity i'm like okay i'm gonna wait till tomorrow and see how the weather is and then this one 
I would just like to know how my apartment is doing, like, because I have a lot of plants. And also, yeah, so I'm looking at the table and I'm trying to see what you guys can see. <laughs> Everything's not bad. Just pictures, like, so I'm trying to, like, set up the picture, I think. I kind of have to put this picture over here, I think so. Now, I was going to take this one out and then drag this one down because I have, like, a little effect that I like going on. And I cannot fill up the entire wall, so it's going to be like this, like, whatever I can fill. That's the idea and the gag. Um, that's my brother, the one that passed away. I miss him so much. Ah, I wanna cry. Okay, girl, so yes, these are the little light plants, you know, because they're in the bottom, but they're still getting some good quality light. Um, and then over here, I mean, I also have my hanging plants. So whenever I have, I there's, you know, the, I don't just do like requirements on the plants. There's some plants that I just want to do good. For example, this is a lemon meringue, or no, global green. I have a, it has a name tag. Oh, look, she was condescending. I think so. It's called. No, I forgot what it's called, but she was like, she's just happy. Lemon meringue potos. So, this wouldn't need. I see a money bug. This would do pretty good. Oh, no, it's just a reflection. And like where it's at, but when it starts to trail, I'm possibly gonna move this like a little bit over here. Cause the more farther away you're from the windows and the grow lights, the less lights they're gonna get, right? Which means the less irrigation, majority of the time, or the less growth you're gonna get. So I'm gonna leave it there cause I want it to get full faster. I can put it like on the shelf with the grow light and it'll grow even faster, but I want something in the ceiling. My neon potos is considered low light and these actually do super, you can see all the holes. <laughs> when I move out, I'm gonna fix this, don't worry. Um, well, that's the plan, that's the plan. The neon potos is low light, so it can be placed like in the middle. Um, once it starts to trail, I will move it more over here. This section is considered low light for me. And I like to put like golden potos or the green heart leaf of the dendron, which is right there. But I want it to get bigger. And this also has a mix of Brazil. So I want that to grow. And then this is a pro, no. Potos and or pearls and jade. We were just talking about it, I think, in yesterday's video. Um, I think it's a pearls and jade. Whatever. It's a potos. And <laughs> I wanted to get more bigger, so. Let it take closer to the window. And also, I just wanted to look a little bit aesthetically pleasing. While well, considering the requirements. And this doesn't look that bad. Um, we have a piece over here, which they don't really like direct sunlight. But I just like it over here. And the second I see it growing crisp crispy, I know that plants, um, peace lilies, when they get direct sunlight, they become crispy. So these are really, really amazing for like low light sections, but it's variegated and I wanted to push up more variegation. It's just so pretty. But the second it gets crispy on me, I'm gonna go ahead and move it somewhere else and place a different plant over here because um, we don't want that to happen. We already have the Marvel Queen Potos, so she's variegated. I wanted to get some light, but I, I want, I like how it's close to the sofa. Also like over here, it's kind of messy because like the sofa is scraping it. So this kind of like distracts you from looking at that. And I just like how it's a little bush. So this, it's just such a cute vibe, like right there. And then it's also getting light from the um, balcony's door window. So it's happy because it's very good. I know it needs need lights. It needs light. And then it's like on this little, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what you call it, stand because they all get variegated and I'm like the losing of a bigger plant. And I know it would just be like, just look nicer like that. So that's one of the plants that I have over here. Like I said, I have plants that are just my favorite and I want them to do good. And plants that just fit in really nicely. And then plants, yeah, it's just usually that. And then the plant shelf, there's not much into it because I can place anything that has to go to the storage. I can place anything here because there's grow lights and they're also getting direct sunlight as of right now. So yeah, and I actually did two more propagations that I did off camera, which was this one. Um, I was gonna work for a, what you call it? I was gonna work for Spagna Moss to buy some. But oh, I had this container from Hot Butterworks that I finished. It's like, it smelled really good, Northern Bright. It's just like a scrub. It was great, I loved it. But I was like, I can use this for propagations. It's like nice and shallow, but wide. And yeah, I, I placed some lemon line philodendrons. And then over here is my candle from Bath & Butterworks that my grandma gave me. It, it smelled so good, it's like chocolatey. And I just got some cuttings from my Green Holly philodendron and I placed them right there. And yeah, but look at that one's better. It looks so sexy. Like, don't tell me anything. Like, the texture and how shiny it is just makes it look so attractive. Uh, I was going to shine this one, but I don't have any good angles that I can do it for you. So, I'm just do it off camera for myself. Um, but, yeah, actually, this morning and then, not this morning, like, a couple minutes before I filmed, I went ahead and I was looking at my 
Monjula and I went ahead and started to spray whatever I saw in the book just to like kill whatever I see. Um, but yeah, this is like a really good section because you can place anything because there's grow lights like spread out evenly majority of the time. Um, this was like really close to that plant. We're gonna place so much butterfly. And yeah, so I just like to like decorate them as an aesthetic. A lot of plants like need a lot of TLC, like my Bergen and Mostera Peru. Hopefully she can bounce back. The Godzilla Syngonium is doing really good. Oh, look at those little water droplets. Oh, that means I'm doing a good job. Well, on watering, um, that's really, really good. I love that so much. And it's bouncing back. You guys can see the new growth happening. Super duper cool. And then this one is putting out some fun stuff. It did have millibugs, but I just killed them. See, this is one, I think I just burned it. Um, yeah, it makes some like, like a orange, gold, reddish kind of color. This is like a nest, but I did spray it. Let me just scrape it up with my hand if I can. I'm really trying to be on top of this metal because like I just can't with them. But uh, look at all these new leaves. This is my um, Pinatium Neon. I feel like it's a, it's a golden pothos, but it really, it has like a silver blue shape. But it has that golden portals variegation. It's beautiful. However, I don't really care if it's, if it's. I don't. I really, really do like these leaves a lot. I like how narrow and pointy they are. I I, I feel terrible that I threw a lot of cuttings away that were rooting. But it's okay. This plant's gonna grow, as you can see. It has grown all this since the time I cut it. It's like right there. I grew all this. So this was like a month of growth, which is really, really impressive and amazing. It is putting out more shoots, and um, I will chop it up again. And I feel like I'll place some in this original pot because like it looks so bald over here and I thought by cutting it, it would do like two new vines, but it didn't. It actually just did um, one. She was, maybe it was like I needed more nutrients, I don't know. But I know some plants just do that. I feel like because I keep them in, I cut it and I was expecting to get more bushy, like a split, um, like two new shoots, but it didn't do that. It just gave me one. It could be a nutrient thing or could just be the plant that that's how it does. Um, sometimes I would like do this one and then I'll put out some from the middle but it didn't even do that so it's okay and I'm filming all the time y'all like I don't even know if I show you or not so I'm sorry if it's repetitive but here's the Vergadis Contaps which just put out this nice beautiful massive leaf and I'm noticing they're really really big leaves I know they're getting some good grow lights I did use this fertilizer I threw like two of them away when I was my depression era but I finished like four of them I think so these are really really great I don't want to open it because I don't want to waste it. I need to really buy some fertilizer. There's a fertilizer on TikTok that's really, really popular. And I don't know people are just promoting it to get an affiliate link and stuff like that. I mean, I respect the hustle, but... Or if it's like a trend or if it's legit and it actually works. But I do want to buy some good fertilizer. I, I know people hate me because of it, but I, it works. It's cheap and it has a lot of it. The miracle Grow fertilizer, it's, it works for me. It's not the best. There are so many other fertilizers out there. I like to get the blue powder, but this is like the water solution one. It's a pump, it's really nice and fast, but um, see, I use that and it works. I've been using it for years. It just kills a good bacteria in the soil, which I'm fully aware, but it makes the plants work. So that's why I do it. And then the strawberry begonia barragadad is putting out, you know my, can you see my fingerprints? Can you get my identity? Identity? I don't even know. There's a new little shoot coming up right there. It's a little baby. And I'm just so excited for this to put out my babies because, like, I love it. And I have an idea. I have a candle that has a cover. And I kind of want to put a strawberry begonia inside in there with some spag in the moss. I think it'll be so cute. And it'll grow nicely. Um, that's basically on this. Like I said, I have plants in here that are recovering. Like, it's my favorites. Or they just look so nicely trailing. I hate the light. I'm so sorry about that. Um, this would troll nicely in the middle. It just you can kind of see how I like I decorate. I mean, it's not that much into it. I like to put the short plants in the front because I can see them and I like the height effect. It looks really, really good. Um, yeah, and then I have those over there. So it's really, really great. My wolf messes everywhere. I did put out a new leaf, and it was drowning in many bugs. And now it's recurring because I just found out about rubbing alcohol. I kept relying on neem oil, which is not. You know, not that it's not. I mean, it's, it does a little something, but nothing compared to what um, the bourbon alcohol does. And I've, I'm hearing a lot of good stuff about uh, Captain Jacks and things called Dr. Bones, something like that. Bones, I don't know. And uh, I'm sorry if I offended anybody. And there's another one that I, hey, baby. <laughs> there's, oh, Dawn Dish Soap. It's also really, really good, too. 
These are my perf eyes, y'all. Honestly, they don't really do shake it. I mean, it's fancy. It captures the dust, but why is there dust on the top? Um, the app tells you when, the, when it's time to replace the filter, and I think it's like an 87% of lifetime. So, and I have seen it. It is collecting dust, and it's even getting fungus gnats, which is pretty good. Not sponsored. I pay with my own money. Um, it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. If you have money to spend, and you want something that captures dust, you can get one of the Levort filters. It's okay. I didn't really notice an air quality difference. Maybe because I already have good air because of my plants. I don't know. Walmart delivery. We love her, girl. Period. Oh, baby. That's not even his name. Valentino? He's like, what? Oh, who do you get your sass from from me, baby? So here's the shiny leaves. And then the fiddle looks so sexy over here. Like, do y'all see that? I do got to shine the leaves on the Monstera, but I feel like they're rubbing alcohol. I, I don't think it's just that because I know that Monsteras do this every now and then. Usually it's a, uh, it could be root rot on the watering or humidity problem or just too much light or it's, the temperatures are not it. And I'm trying to narrow it down what is what. I know that I'm spraying rubbing alcohol, but I do spray it on a lot of things and these don't look that bad. Can you guys can see how it's curling? I probably will check with my moisture meter if it's um see y'all I'm, I'm i'm like i have some experience on watering plants my nails are so pretty right now what the hell i do cut my nails because i don't like having long nails but i do appreciate yo i'm like so wrinkly anyways um i sometimes i just don't want to pick up the plant and it's convenient and it works and so i just stab it and um what oh my god that sounds so bad with the moisture meter to check if it's moist or not so We'll go ahead and check. I do water it, but it has a cash pot. So if it does have a lot of water, I'll take out the cash pot ASAP. I'll put the fan on. And usually that does it. What I used to do back then when the plant was getting root raw, I'll, I'll do what I have to do. And then I'll place it outside. And it'll work every time. Um, it could be light, which I highly doubt because Monsteras love light. And this light's not that crazy. I mean, it's strong, but it's not that's going to piss off a plant. And it has a safe distance. I know that for sure. Um, or humidity but humidity is pretty good in my apartments and it could also use be temperature it is close to the door and a window but this is kind of sealed so <sighs> i'm not that sure i think it's a water thing i will go ahead and like stab it and see or sometimes it just happens um it just happens so yeah also the flower hasn't blossomed yet like what i right, better get a ring of fire is that a melee i just saw it at the camera is that a, oh my god, it is a melee.